guess we're recording there. Hi guys. Hi there YouTubers. We are trying to do something here, which I don't know what I'm trying to do. I did two videos of cutting those logs up. We'll switch around and look at those. Which, like I said, that's pretty unconventional um, sawing for most people. But if you, if you have a loader with forks, my gosh, you know, get off the ground. The, the, the chains last a lot longer. Um, it, it's just so much better. You're not bending over and that stuff. I mean, you're not going to get away from uh, picking up wood or moving wood. Wood is hard work. And I don't care whether you got um, a conveyor, you know, you can come off the splitter and you got a conveyor and it goes on the ground. You got to pick it up. Sooner or later, you're going to have to pick it up. But you're going to see some pretty un uncommon wood splitting, and um, that's going to come up. But I thought I'd bring you by to see. I did. I did two videos. Whoops! I don't know if I'm in there. I did two videos of sawing that wood up. And I'm going to do one more on that, but probably flip-flop that, then the Troy built, then flip-flop that, and the Troy built in the Jeep. Jeep has kind of given me a, <coughs> a fit. It's not quite as going as well as I thought it was going to go. Now, and I might get into that in a video, but um, after doing those two loads of, or those, those logs, I thought I'd bring up another pack of logs. And then I thought, well, maybe you guys like to see it. This, this log that I got down here, um, Gosh, I'll, I'll, I don't remember what the length of it is. It seems to me, we'll walk down and take a look. I mean, we're just doing nonsense stuff. That's, that's the wood we got. I brought another log up there. These are mostly 24 footers. That's about what they are. And it took me about, what, an hour, a little over an hour to do those last two videos. I, if you uh, end up doing something, you can figure out how uh, long it took me to cut that wood. Um, doesn't take too long, but the old man's wore out, so I don't get started till late, but I don't last too long anymore, to be honest with you. Um, this log here, I think this is the longest, believe it or not, it's the heaviest, too. I thought I wrote on it, yeah, it's 20, you can't see it down, it's 24 inches, uh, 24 inches fat there, round. I wrote on it how long it was. Uh, it's 34, 30 feet, 4 inches. And here at the small end, it's 15 inches round. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but this is what, uh, we got to get through that, see? All those logs got to go over that uh, loader. I should move the loader, but I don't feel like moving the loader. And you, you might see a... Like I said, that's the heaviest log I've got into. And so I'll, I'll try to put it here so you can see coming over it. Then I'm going to set it over there. I'm going to cut that one first and cut that. Tomorrow i got to go get another booster shot. i got to take that coffin up to uh, the... Uh, I can't think what a... Cemetery tomorrow. And then I'll probably buy a couple more chains because that 24-inch chain I got... Is getting pretty tired so this ought to be a pretty good shot and then I'm gonna have to jump out and move it hopefully I won't uh, lose that log sometimes you do and sometimes you don't then I'm gonna uncover the wood splitter and try to see you know it's been been a while but it needs to get reopened up
Then the other ones that I had, you can't see it now. I guess you're out of the. I ain't catch the. That's why I thought I'd have to move it. But like I said, I'm gonna put that over there. So I'll bring you over here. And that'll be probably the. That'll be the last one I cut tomorrow, maybe or somewhere around there. But we're gonna set it over there. That's a. That's a lot of log. try to get the uh, wood splitter I don't know if you can see me yeah, you kind of see me what I did was just kind of balance that log back out just kind of getting ready things for tomorrow of course I'm not gonna be here all day to, um, very much tomorrow because I got to uh, take a road trip and get my rabies shot um, so we'll uncover this it's nice when it's not supposed to rain Ooh, what a mess down here muddy real muddy I'll uncover this thing. It has been kind of in mothballs over over the winter. For some reason, this thing got tight. But uh, we'll see if it'll uh, see if we can't split a little bit of wood <coughs> if I get this knot out of this. In fact, as you hear on the movies a long time a lot, it's kind of windy here, and so this. Uh, tarp for the winter gets tied down and yep there's still a wood splitter I'll be darn there's no animals in there yet that I see I've opened it up before and had them run out which isn't uh, scares the crap out of me is what it does down here and we'll take this off I forgot to take this off once or twice started it up that's why you got goofy holes in it that ain't too bad we'll check the oil now I know it doesn't have a whole lot of gas in it because remember last year and last time we're seeing I was trying to get it to run out of gas look at that it's full anyhow um, I did finally get all the gas out of it and uh, now I'm waiting to put uh, new gas in it again. So I want it to run out. So if it runs out, then I'll get fresh gas in it. And if I just, if I put the gas in it now, so it doesn't run out, this thing's muddy. Been so wet here. If I put the gas in it now, it'll just mix old gas with new gas, and I don't really want to do that. I'm not supposed to rain tonight for a change. Another thing I notice is a lot of people grease these and all this kind of stuff. In all the years, there is a little bit of a lip. No, there's no lip in there at all. All the years I've run this thing, this thing is about, built it in, if you're new here, this thing was built back in the, um, oh, early, mid-70s. And uh, I, don't, I don't care for the log lift. Um, you'll, you'll see it. Um, I, I prefer table, working off the table. 
Um, I, I don't have any of the any stuff here. I might put a few logs over here just to try it out. Getting it ready, like I say, for the, tomorrow or Thursday or when I start getting into that. So let's see if it'll start after it's winter hibernation. I guess you're still in here. We'll bring you a little closer. Maybe I'll set a couple logs up on it. Uh, just for grins. I got a whole whole big, oh no, that thing's in backwards. Well, if it starts, I'll, I'll go get the bobcat and we'll we'll just set a rack up in there and pull a few, but I don't have a pick, any pickaroons here handy. Um, like I said, this is just kind of uh, seeing where it's going, trying to move the camera around so it isn't so bad. Let's see if this old boy will want to start. It's been pretty good. I can hear the fuel pump running. I can see fuel coming up. Pull the choke. Try to pull the choke. <laughs> Thinking about it, I think it's still getting gas in the carburetor. I can hear it clicking. <laughs> Bobcat and bring a couple logs over, but I'm not going to set it up on there, I don't think. I might, I don't know. Now you guys that have been around here for a long time know that I don't move picked up wood over. And I picked that up and I didn't want to pick it up again, but I just don't know how that wooden rack is going to actually balance on that um, on that table. Normally I'd hold it with that. I, I didn't really come down here prepared to do this, but I'm just kind of goofing around. So um, I'm going to split a little bit just because I can. Maybe I'll get maybe I'll get rid of that and then I'll give me another basket for split firewood. Um, now you guys that, that watch it, I don't want a four-way wood split a four-way wedge. I don't really I don't really like those. And you're gonna see this thing go probably faster than just about any wood splitter you've seen. And especially considering it was built back, like I said, in the mid-70s. <clears throat> and um, the four-way wedge, I, I have other videos on it. If I'm picking this wood out here, that wedge would be in my way, and it'd be in here, and I use this 
leather coat to kind of push that away and that kind of stuff. So it just doesn't work for me. If a four-way wedge, ten-way wedge, million-way wedge works for you, then I think that's the thing you should have. I'm going to split it and throw it in here right away. Um, I'm, I guess I'm not going to stack it. This is just left over from the last time I split and to get rid of that wood. So I'm just, I'm just kind of putzing around. But um, if you're new here, this, this thing ain't going to take a whole lot of time to split. But I see my table settle down a little bit. It needs some redoing, and it's it's standard. Get things going for the first time. As you can see, a four-way wedge would get in my way, and uh, if I'd started stacking that, it's, it stacks quick. I, I don't like leaning over like that. I didn't didn't bring my picaroon. Um, so anyhow, when, when you have the picaroon, you can split stuff so much faster, and then you, you're not picking it up again. And that's that's my uh, thing with the uh, log lifts. The log lifts, if you watch people with log lifts, a lot of them use them as tables. I was just watching a guy, a new guy I just watched, he's, he's a new new YouTuber, and he's got a nice Wolf Ridge splitter, and there's nothing wrong with it. It's a great, great splitter. They work good. But he's using the log lift. He got it up like this, and he's using it for a table. So why not just get a table? And then he's lifting all the logs up, and he's he's doing like I'm doing now, basically. Or nah, he's going over to a pile and bringing them in, going over a pile, bringing them in. Where well, you're going to see me the next time I'm splitting with this thing, you're going to see me using the bucket of the um, uh, bobcat, and I'm going to lay the bucket right here, and I'm going to pick a room them on. I, I don't like I don't like leaning over like that, splitting those. And this is believe it or not. This is really hard on my wrist. I have a bad wrist, or a bad, there's a ten tendon in my wrist that is completely severed. And this is setting it off for some reason. But I'm not really particularly picking this up. I'm kind of transferring it more than picking it up so it isn't, too, it isn't too hateful. I don't know what this one is. This is different. Oh, this is, um, that looks like shag bark hickory there. I don't know what that is. That might be white oak. It might be, I, oh, I, you know, I think it's a white oak tree that I cut down up at the top. Um, that, that's what it is. That, I know where that tree, that, you guys were long on that one too. It's a white oak tree. And I think, I don't know where this, this came from. 
we'll do it that way, then I can roll it over that way, can I? And it won't take me long to <clears throat> knock this out. I don't have to have it really um, small pieces because this is just boiler wood. And um, it'll go it'll go pretty quick. Don't want to have to pick this stuff up. Ouch. It, this stuff's heavy. Oh my goodness, this is white oak. Yeah, that's why you don't have to pick up pick up wood. Um, but you know the the um, log loaders that those guys got. If they if they would take that um, if they would take the leg off because it goes out and then goes up, and when they're stacking that wood, they got to stack over top of that log leg. Now the wolf ridge was real nice because it it flipped down, which I thought that was a good feature. So once it flips down, if he put a leg under that, he had a bucket big machine like that. He could just set those up. Like I said, when I when I come back in a in a day or so, or I don't know when the next movie will come on. Today is Tuesday. Um, You'll see how that bucket works. And I can hold better than a quarter of a cord in that bucket, at least a quarter of a cord in that bucket. doing on time wise I'm just playing around oh I got some more I can finish now most of the time this uh, I'll, I'll be stacking at the back of it I didn't stack this was just left over I'm gonna get in there and straighten that out but it'll be stacked but when you see me split a, a load of wood um, when I'm done it's stacked I don't have to pick it up again if you got a conveyor you might split it and boom 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 and it's down the road and it's down the conveyor you got to go pick it up again and I'm not really really interested in picking it up one more time this is this is this isn't my normal splitting here guys when um, when we get the uh, get the green bucket back from my wife then we'll be splitting and I'll have the picaroon in here too. Without the uh, picaroon, it makes a whole lot, whole lot um, faster with the picaroon. Now, what I keep saying is, when when you got a log lift and you're going around to the log lift, and then you're going around back around there, I call that wood splitter merry-go-round. I don't know if you're in the picture there. I call when you're going around back and forth. When you're going around back and forth, 
I mean from side to side I mean your log your log lift will be on this side then you're going around this way and then back around this way then back around that way so you got two or three logs on now if you got somebody stacking your wood up for you that's a little different story but this is a uh, one-man band here as, as you recall so that just doesn't happen here um, this is some nice white oak here Ugh. I'm not used to picking this stuff up like this. I done picked it up once and put it in here. And that's my uh, whole thing. Pick the log up one time. Uh, don't be sitting there picking it up a dozen times like I'm doing. I just don't know. This this basket is, is you can't see it. Half the, uh, I'll bring you over here. Half the um, boards are out of it. And I just don't know what's going to happen if I set it up there. And I kind of don't really feel like having an, a major crash. But you see... See all those boards? Ah, oh, crap. Hit me in the head. See all these are separated from there. So I, I might put it up there and it crashed. I done hit my head on the chain. Um, that's the trouble with non-treated wood. It has tendency to rot. This, this rack's real old though. This is a old uh, stone pallet. So I just had to come down and do something. I don't get out of the gate very early in the morning. Um, but I do work, I'll probably work until about 9 o'clock on stuff out back, just dilly down and stuff, get the chainsaws ready to cut that, cut that wood some more. I'm not going to split any of that, any more of that until I get that stacked in that thing properly because it would just be stupid. You put wood on top of on stack wood and it's just going to be a mess. So that's about it for tonight. Like I said, uh, the wh whole purpose of this was to, um, See if the old beast wanted to get out of hibernation. It did real good. The the uh, non uh, corn gas just started right up, but I still want to burn all that that gas out of it because I like to keep fresh gas in it, and I don't see the point in putting old gas on or new gas on top of old gas. Um, this beast here, I'll probably leave out tonight. I have one 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 runaway log, so. The next time you see me, mm, I'll be cutting wood again, but I'll, I'll put a splitting one on. I think it's what I'm going to do is you'll see me sawing then see me splitting, then see me sawing and see me splitting for a while because I got to get, uh, get my next year's wood supply going because as you can see, I'm a lot of baskets down. So um, appreciate you stopping by. Um, see some non-conventional wood splitting it'll be more up to up to standards when i get my green bucket back from my wife she's using it full of mulch right now so anyhow and an airplane comes over right when i'm saying goodbye beautiful night out here just absolutely gorgeous so anyhow i'm going to put uh well by the time you see this you'll know what i'm doing anyway so or put up with it i don't know i'm so brain so twisted up most of the time that's what happens when you get my age your brain don't work quite in the right order but uh anyhow we'll see you i'm glad you stopped by to see me resurrect the uh get the wood splitter out of out of hibernation and i'll see you uh, on the next one we'll be splitting wood or i don't know what order i'm putting in so you know put up with me guys i appreciate you putting up with me i'd like to make nine thousand by the end of the month and uh with your help i can do it so Thanks for stopping by. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for being here. Bye.